the cheapest angle grinder that you can buy on Amazon. That is horrible. This is the type of grinder, if you get paid by the hour, this is your grinder right here. All right, today I have in my possession the cheapest angle grinder that you can buy on Amazon. This angle grinder was $52 and it is cordless. But first, before we look at it, let's read some of the reviews. Melted battery pin. Tool side of battery pin literally melted and won't turn on, just sparks out of the battery area. Sounds like a pretty good start. Very weak, would not order again. Terrible tool, so weak I can almost stop with my bare hand fully charged. Also, not a good start. Worked less than five minutes. Worked less than five minutes before it locked up. All right, what we have is a monk and I brushless, it claims, angle grinder, 20 volt, four and a half inch. So we get the angle grinder, 20 volt battery, a four and a half inch saw blade, which I didn't expect, some flap discs, which are probably of the worst quality, some cutting discs, which we're not going to use. I have other, I have real cutting discs that we're going to use, a guard, handle, the tool, those pieces. I'll forget, I forget what they're called. Man, that's cheap. Okay. We've got a full battery. I can already tell you how this test is going to go. That is pathetically weak. Listen to how long it takes that to spool up. Oh, that's max speed. That's not even fast at all. That's like probably half the speed of a regular angle grinder. We're going to be comparing it to a Milwaukee cordless angle grinder. Let's see what that one sounds like. That speeds up instantly compared to this thing sounds like a little toy, like a little remote control RC car, like just barely speeding up. I think we're going to be in for uh, quite the bad show. First test we're going to do is we're going to cut some half inch uh, metal and uh, we'll see how it does. So before we actually get started, I wanted to do a little test. So this battery claims to be uh, 20 volt, 4 amp hour. So, I want to see how many volts it is. Because the, the tool sounds weak, right? Let's see. So it is 19.4 volts. Is It worries me a little bit as far as the power of the tool. Because typically, if something says that it's 20 volt, then whenever it's fully charged, it's going to be just a little bit over that, right? For instance, this is the Milwaukee battery. This is 18 volt and it's fully charged. So at, it claims to be 18 volt, but in reality, it's 20 volt. Just for a fair comparison, I have a four amp hour. This is a four amp hour. Except for this one's really old and really beat up and only has half charge. And even this one is testing 18.2 volts. So still over what it's over 18 volts. Massive weight difference between these two. This one feels light, like it could just fly away, and this one feels like it's actually heavy. I think the battery is gonna die very quickly, and it obviously isn't gonna put out uh, that much power, but we'll see. All right, so before we go any farther, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. So did you know that one man every hour every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. And it is the most common cancer among men ages 15 to 35. So April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month and Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society and they will be donating $50,000 to help individuals and families affected by testicular cancer. So with that being said, Manscaped also sent me the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. So let's see what you get. You get your trimmer, of course. Trimmer comes with multiple different guards so that you can trim at different lengths. An extra trimming head so that you can get up nice and close. The trimmer itself also has, has a light. It also has the skin safe technology so that way you're not gonna cut and nick yourself. And the trimmer itself is also waterproof and rechargeable. You get a nice little storage bag. Very nice. 
take your trimmer on the go, and then you get a charging cable and a charging brick. So, it's a pretty nice package. So if you're interested in this, you can go to manscaped.com, use code TUBE, and you'll get 20% off your order, plus free shipping. And you can also go to manscaped.com slash TCS to learn the early warning signs of testicular cancer. All right, we got them both all set up, ready to go. Something I want to point out to you is, look at the handle on this thing. What In what universe does that make sense? To have the handle come up at such a, a harsh angle. Every grinder I've ever used is like this. The handle comes out 90 degrees. Why would you make this like come up like it's some type of horn or something? I don't know, it makes you feel like you're like cranking your arm out or something. Don't make fun of my safety glasses. I know they look stupid, but they're the only ones that uh, that I could find. So we're just gonna make one cut and then we'll make a cut here. We'll see, uh, we'll see how long it takes. All right, here we go. Okay, it's not bad. Now, here we go, the, the big daddy. Man, I can feel, this thing has so much torque, it's almost gonna torque itself right out of my hands. I can feel the power. Really? That was enough to stop it? And also, I want you to uh, take note did you see how many, how many sparks the Milwaukee was throwing? And how many sparks this is not throwing? All right, we'll reset the timer. I'm gonna start in another spot. I'm just gonna try to, I guess, baby it through. Come on. <laughs> For the cheapest grinder on Amazon, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. That's about, that's about as bad as it gets. I mean, half inch isn't even that thick, but I could tell that once I get about 80% of the way through the cut, that just the extra friction of having the metal there almost makes it not possible to cut. I would bet that if you had something a little bit thicker, maybe like three quarter inch, I don't even know if you could get through it with this. So that's pathetic. We're gonna switch, instead of having a round bar, we have a piece of flat stock, and we have switched from cutting discs to grinding discs which are much thicker and much heavier. Since it's so much more weight, I think it's gonna be way more difficult for this to spin. So we're just gonna see how much weight you can put down on it before it uh, just stalls out. I imagine that with this, uh, if you just breathe on it too heavy, it's gonna stall out. Maybe it can't cut, but maybe it's an amazing grinder. Let's see if we can even stall this out. I don't know if we can. Oh, we can. Just gotta really put weight on it. Oh, it, ta it takes a good amount. Like I can hold it down really hard. Like that, that was putting a good amount of weight and it took that no problem, but I still wasn't able to stall it out. Now this, Like, that was like one pound of pressure. That's like, you can't even, what, what kind of work are you gonna get done with this? This is the type of grinder, if you get paid by the hour, this is your grinder right here. Like, let's just see how long it would take to like grind out something like that. happening I wasn't even putting pressure on it <laughs> it 
It's so amazing to me how, like, you can just... All that time. We still have a full charge. But yeah, you can tell, like, just... The one, the one time I think that it stalled randomly, there was a little bit of a groove getting dug right here. And I think that just the extra friction of it, like, actually doing the grinding, I think uh, was, was just too much for it and it couldn't power through. Obviously, this thing is horrible, but you can do some very light grinding. Like, say, you know, there's this rust here. If I wanted to take that rust off, I could do that with this. Okay, I guess the switch decides when it wants to work. Oh, wait a minute. No! It has two power modes. A low and a meet, I guess a low and a high maybe? There's three bars there. I was just looking at that. I think it's supposed to have three. I don't know what the third bar is. When you click the button, it just goes from one to two. And then you can hold it to make it flash. Okay, so. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to redo the first test because I didn't realize that there was a low and a high. All right, now let's see if we can stall it out on high. I mean, it did take a little bit more pressure, but it wasn't much. And then the switch barely doesn't work sometimes. Like right now it's up. Oh, wait a minute. The battery's not showing up anymore. The power button doesn't do anything. Did we just kill it? So wait a minute, if you stall it, you have to reset the whole thing? Okay. That wasn't even that hard. It's very strange. So on high power mode, every single time you stall it, you have to take the battery out and put it back in. Battery works, and then you gotta put it back in high mode. Crazy annoying. Anyway, let's just try to grind off some of this rust and just see how. I was being so gentle there. I was not even, I was just trying to add enough pressure just to get it to do something. Let's try to cut the bar stock and let's see if it made a difference. All right, we'll swap it back out to a cutting blade. I think this thing like goes to sleep after, if you don't use it for a while. All right, we're in high mode. Uh, the old time with it on low is gonna be on the screen. That way we know, we know what that is and then we'll compare it to this new time. Come on. And then now we gotta pull the battery out, restart it, wake it up, go back to high power mode. Okay, install it again. This, I tell you what, this is quite the procedure. Okay. We'll, we'll call that. I feel like that was a, probably right around the exact same time, if not a little bit longer, because of uh, so many restarts. Jeez, that's so annoying. Can you imagine every single time you try to grind something or cut something, you're gonna stall the grinder every two seconds, and then every two seconds you gotta pull the battery out, put it back in, hit it once to wake it up, and then put it in high power mode, and then go again just to stall two seconds later. That is horrible. All right, so we've switched to the saw blade. We got a two by four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two cuts, one with it on low, just because if it stalls, I can instantly restart it, and we'll see how long that takes to make a cut, and then another cut on high, and then we'll just see what happens. Man, I think there's something inside of here that's like breaking or something. Let's see if we can do it. All 
I also just realized that I am a complete idiot. And if I try to cut through here, I can't cut all the way through because the grinder's gonna run into the wood. So that was pretty smart on my part. I guess we just have to go through the top. And we'll just make it a cut as deep as we can. See how long it takes. I don't like that at all. All right, we're going guard off. Much more dangerous, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta see if we can make a full, a full cut. Three, two. Okay, well, I don't think that helped at all. Now we're blinking. Okay, go high power now. Per usual. so strange. It feels like it starts to cut and it like almost just dies out. Okay. I'm honestly just kind of done messing with that. Uh, that's a horrible way to try to like cut wood. At least try to cut a two by four. Maybe if you were trying to cut something, I don't even know, real small, like maybe a little, like a little dowel rod maybe or something, but anything bigger than that, there's just no shot. So now what I want to do is bring back a fan favorite, the grinder chainsaw. See if this thing can even power it at all. Uh, we're gonna make one cut with it on just a regular corded grinder. We'll see how long it takes. If this thing can even run this, we'll see if it can make a cut. Three, two, one. <laughs> I feel like that was a really good time. Okay, so here's what we got. We have one chance at this because this chainsaw attack grinder attachment is not made for this grinder. However, I was able to kind of cobble it on and get it connected. And I think if we're lucky, we could maybe make one cut. Let's, uh, let's test our luck. I think I'm gonna go on low too, so I don't have to take the battery out and reset it if it stalls. That went about exactly how I expected. That was that that was just the weight of itself. Let's go again. Okay, so it, it did cut through it, which is honestly kind of surprising. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked that it was like actually able to even make the cut. I would call that a win, especially with as much as this um, grinder stalls out. Oh, actually, we're not done yet. We gotta check the battery voltage. All right, so we started off, let's actually let's start over here on the Milwaukee side. It's an 18 volt battery. We started off at 20 volts. We're at 20.3, which I think is exactly where we started. 20.3, 20.2, something like that. Now, do we go up in voltage or are we the same? So it is 19.4 volts because the battery's still fully charged. What the battery is really is kind of irrelevant because I would say that my overall review of the grinder, it's just a big disappointment. Just like the time that your dad said he was gonna go get some milk and never came back. We all know how that turned out. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. 
See you in the next one.